Hi, welcome to this Stair Tailored. We're adding fractions with unlike denominators, and right now we're going to show this using the length model. The length model of fractions means that we can show fractions according to their length, so how they fall on a number line. And we're going to add one half and two fifths, and we could do this on a number line. We could also use the Cuisinier rods, that's a good length model. Today we're going to use the fraction tiles. That's also a nice length model to use. So let me show you what this looks like with the fraction tiles. Now remember we're adding one half plus two fifths. So I have my fractions written right here. And I'm going to set these up as two different add-ins because that's what they are. So I'm going to show the fraction one half and I also am going to show the fraction two fifths. Now I need to add these add-ins together so I could take these two one fifth pieces and add them to one half, but it's kind of difficult to interpret what the answer might be. So one of the things that's very helpful to do here is to find common denominators or like denominators. So I'm going to list out the multiples for a fraction with a denominator of two. We almost always just list out the first five multiples, so I'll go ahead and list those out just like that. Now I'm also going to list out the multiples for a fraction with a denominator of five. I'll go ahead and list out the first five here. All right. So let's see, do I have a least common denominator? I do. I see that 10 is the least common denominator when I have a fraction with a denominator of two and a fraction with a denominator of five. So that means I need to turn each of these fractions, or I need to find equivalent forms of each of these fractions. So let's focus on one half. I can see that one half, to get to one half with to have a denominator of 10, I need to divide one half into one, two, three, four, five one-tenth pieces. So I've got my five one-tenth pieces and I like to place them directly on top of the one-half to show that now five-tenths is equivalent to one-half. Now I have these two one-fifth pieces. For each of the one-fifth pieces I need to change that to have one two-tenths. So this one-fifth piece is equivalent to two-tenths and this one-fifth piece is also equivalent to two-tenths. Now I have uh, five-tenths, and to it I'm going to add four-tenths. So I'm just going to move my tenths up here to kind of show the action of adding. So when I have five-tenths and I add four-tenths, my answer is nine-tenths. So I'll go ahead and write that right here. Now for the students, if I did want to write this to show the common denominators, Remember we added 5 tenths plus 4 tenths, and that is the same as 9 tenths. So that's one example of how we used the length model to add fractions. Those fractions had unlike denominators, and I hope you'll look at some of the other stair tailors where we look at how to use the area model with unlike denominators when we're adding, and the set model.